what is the difference between classical Chinese medicine and normal Chinese medicine? Uh, classical Chinese medicine as a treated body as whole is in the ancient time is a, like a very complicated system which uh, is a systematically including the uh, heaven earth and nature phenomenon and uh, has a human in the nature and uh, has the human can be keep the balance uh, with the nature environment so that's the essence about uh, Chinese medicine but this uh, so-called uh, uh, normal Chinese medicine I I guess your means uh, what is uh, happening nowadays people had a clinic and talking Chinese medicine but use herbal treatment and use acupuncture treatment that's so people start feel that's Chinese medicine but um, really the Chinese medicine is about the how to understand human position in the big environment and then that's why they have a, a huge understanding about how to uh, in tune with the nature is how to keep the life balanced with the nature so that's what we call Tao the Tao is to understand how the energy in the universe was the, the law it's basically touch about the um, the design, the blueprint in the universe. So it's very profound. But now um, uh, also people uh, understand it's about, you know, their uh, Chinese herbs and uh, making the herbal soup <laughs> and, uh, and then to do with, uh, here and there and the acupuncture, more expression and all cupping. Lots of people hear about that. This is a part of something people can feel, they can uh, touch. That's what we call the technique. So that's why I could put, and that's why the Chinese medicine and the including about the, uh, the universal law, which we call the Tao. Uh -huh. The other part is Shu, we call the technique. But of course, the technique serves what is the, the Tao, the basic principle. But how can we understand what is the basic principle to be able to use the good technique? So that's why it's like um, uh, you need to understand and the root, how, like you understand the seeds, how is the, uh, the plants growing. But if you don't understand, if you don't have the seeds, you only see the plants. So he didn't know the root, how has they're growing. So that's why a classical Chinese medicine, it is really to take, um, especially for people who is not growing uh, in the Chinese medicine culture, to be able to understand what is the root about Chinese medicine. So that's called the classical Chinese medicine. Uh, classical Chinese medicine very much based on the Yellow Emperor. Uh, book. Um, we already discussed the first chapter about four different type of people. But in terms of how could those four type of people can be achieved such great levels about uh, understand the heaven and the earth can be dealing with the space and time so <laughs> profound is, um, is because they understand and then the human in the position and how to uh, be able to balance up for constant change uh, in the you know, environment. For example, because uh, Chinese uh, medicine, especially classical Chinese medicine, uh, were based on the uh, meridians and uh, running inside the body. I'm sure, you know, in the uh, Chinese medicine school has been told that. Um, so that is actually described. So high energy uh, channels uh, in the body and the highest the way their flow. Um, so there are good doctors through their loss of cultivation and meditation. They develop this there's a special ability to be able to
through scanning the patients. For example, like people talking X-ray, X-ray eyes, <laughs> so they can see the body, um, what is area has the block and what's happening. So that's that's what is their had achieved uh, man, and uh, how can they achieve such a kind of uh, state? to use their own body uh, to be able to detect if has the other people's body, what is that constant change happen, what is that their uh, problems. So that uh, meridian system provides amazing uh, phenomenon to uh, show has the um, universal energy uh, move within the body and in terms of um, physical body and the mental uh, consciousness or even the spiritual uh, phenomenon. Um, so that's why if they, the doctor understand that system, so therefore it's to look the body as whole rather than separate. Uh, that's why the Chinese medicine always said, well, if you know the, the root, uh, you can treat the whole body from the one point. Mm. Uh, and uh, for example, if uh, you have uh, a headache, you can treat from the feet uh, to be able to uh, release the pain in the, in the head. But that's talking about the treatment. But uh, in terms of a classical Chinese medicine, it's much more uh, understand. So it's uh, the energy system flow and how can you keep your energy uh, unblocked? That's the key. <laughs> yeah, because uh, very easy just uh, wait for people blocked and then you, you do it. But it's like uh, we're talking about there's just three doctors that the lowest the doctor always treat emergency disease. <laughs> they're, but they're, their brothers much more higher before the disease they already prevent. So that means those doctors understand how so the weather could be changed so to prevent uh, the earlier. Um, so for example, if uh, people uh, understand that's the system, you, know, you can even just uh, uh, look at people uh, without uh, uh, doing any kind of a test, you're ready to know what's the reason cause it. So that's why it's uh, to help people to, through the body, get into this, uh, their whole energy system to be able to understand this person's lifestyle. Uh, uh, there was one um, professor I remember used to uh, practice Qigong with me. And then uh, we were talking how that system work. She said, okay, um, mm, I twist my ankles. So what that means? And I said, wow, you must have had a very late night. And then she was uh, laughing. <laughs> she said, that's correct, because I have been kind of uh, trying to catch up the paper. And uh, so I slept about one or two o'clock. And, and, and then that's, that's, that's uh, true. And, and then she said, how do you know? I said, well, the ankles, if you twist it, so the outside, is the gold blood meridians, which uh, is the meridians running in between 11 to 1 o'clock in the middle of the night. So if you don't have good rest on those period of time, so you will burn out the energy and then you weaken that meridians. So therefore, they cannot support you. Uh, so that's why, why they are ancient wisdom so always said why when the, the the day getting dark so you need to go to sleep but if you don't do that and then consequence you will lead to broken your ankles <laughs> so so that says the the wisdoms about your body system is all connected connecting what with the timing uh -huh. with the energy flow and then with your organs and with your bone and the ligaments. Uh -huh. So that's why um, 
the classical Chinese medicine is to understand the big picture rather than just said, oh, this person have a headache. Okay, I, uh, I put some needles to treat in the head. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there, there are uh, problems on the head, but could be is uh, other organs problem. Uh, for example, it could be the uh, liver exhausted. Uh, liver intense medicine it means a nerve system. Mm. So they run so much uh, emotion sense. And then that's why they got exhausted. So that's why um, they uh, come out like uh, a migraine. Because in the clinic, I did uh, treat people having lots of migraine. But those people, because they have uh, emotion stress, but they don't express themselves. So then they block in those meridians, but through just push those meridians, and then their, their migraines goes away. So that is uh, talking about uh, how is the body invisible system has been constantly moving and running inside with you. But this is a beyond naked eyes. Yeah. So Chinese medicine on that the classical aspect is uh, uh, quite lots of uh, um, wisdom to understand how those invisible system and, and structure and the energy flow and then can be affected your health. So that's why it's not just about uh, this disease that's wrong and then oh you have this organs wrong just fix that organs so it's not to separate so the treat body as whole and especially if I uh, understand that so that's why we said a superior doctor to understand um, human is uh, in that system and is also running as their biology clock because it can, of course, in the Western science also find their biology clock mm -hmm. inside, which is uh, thousands of years ago, they already know that. So that's why in the uh, Yellow Emperor medi medicine books, they already warn people, said, um, why nowadays, can you imagine 2,000 years, 2,500 years ago, <laughs> they already say in the ancient time, nowadays people, <laughs> people deteriorate. <laughs> you see, our humans already deteriorate from the 2,500 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> so that nowadays, nowadays people uh, drink too much and then go to bed late and then they are not go not really resting and then they're against um, you know uh, sun and the moon because what means against sun and the moon it means when the sun rise is because the young chi rising their energy start rising so your body need to rise but if we on the dark it's a, so your whole energy, active energy, is going to go down in the bodies, become uh, resting and then hide to prepare the next uh, flow. So that's also reflect um, the Chinese medicine, the ancient time. So and talking about the this really how could you understand the body is like growing process. What means growing process? Because there has a, a big complex system and I have a rhythm and, and uh, you know, the uh, rhythms with the heaven, the earth, the sun and the moon. <clears throat> you need to understand the yin yang circles, the rhythms. And at the same time, you understand how is the, the growing process. So that's why in the first chapter, amazing how the chapter names, it's called ancient true pure. <laughs> ancient true pure. <laughs> true pure. <laughs> uh -huh. So, okay, the translator is uh, how can you understand the ancient truth? Because those uh, truths and then um, showing how was a, a human in their early stage is totally in line with the ba balance of uh, the heaven and the earth. They're meant to be so therefore and that's why they can uh, really 
to follow that kind of rhythms rather than against that. So their their health, you know, that's why they are very strong. But of course, people will say, "Wow, ancient time people you know wearing you know the um, uh, leaves and then their their life span very short." <laughs> but, but of course, that's uh, uh, linked with you know they said you know early civilization people health very very bad you know of course the science, lots of scientists say that. But in terms of uh, that uh, uh, classical Chinese medicine, there was they're actually uh, referring their their human the blueprint. But in the early stage, their their body resonant with the you know sun the moon resonant. So that's why if we, you are much more calm and relaxed, you just can feel yeah when they're getting dark you sleep. Uh-huh. It's like when the winter, like lots of animals just uh, hibernate. Because that's why when you're hibernate and you're preparing next time you 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 get back to the life and rise again. Our human being the same. But but our human being have an ego. <laughs> Since we develop electricity, which I think we can do everything. <laughs> so that's why they are in a large scale about the uh, the health problem so that's why why we need to go back to um, visit what's the ancient wisdom to teach us but why um in the ancient time because i actually checked um, the uh, ancient documents they already mentioned uh, before you know 800 years before there is about more than ten, uh, no, hundred thousand people reach to the uh, achieved man. Mm. It's a large number. That's a lot. Yeah, large number. So that's why. Why? Because people um, start, you know, knowing there is uh, uh, the way can be uh, resonant with the nature and the balance up, you won't be deteriorated that fast. So that, that there's this wisdom and the knowledge existing there. So that's why they have been passed on. So the classical Chinese medicine is really aiming to bring those wisdom to be back to society, to really to deal with uh, now the crisis with the human health. Um, also to illustrate, lots of people just think Chinese medicine is just herbs and needles. Actually, that's just technique. There's a lot of other technique uh-huh, to uh, to really to combine with the the deeper understanding. So um, there's always one thing that the, the most the highest levels technique <clears throat> is you don't need to do too much. Mm. <laughs> you you just uh, go with a flow. <laughs> Lots of people thought mm, go with the flow means you don't need to do anything. Okay, I just do whatever <laughs> I want. I don't need to have to discipline. <clears throat> That's completely missing understood. The the go with the flow is means you're in emerging with the Tao. Get rid of your ego or your mind, so you start in tune was deeply what you feel your call uh-huh. and then through your heart uh-huh. and then through your your body and then start uh, aware and uh, high still external environment for example season changed how do you feel and then how can you go with the flow of that so therefore um we are really um emphasize uh, that and the crucial part of the how, what is the flow how can you master it um, when we're talking that the flow is like for example if you imagined your life is like a wheel a wheel wheel is like a life is like mm. a wheel you know rotate so what's the problem your life not running you have a flight tire it's like you're driving the car 
<laughs> certainly something pumps, so your your car stops. So that's like lots of people's life. And then why they had a fly tail, and then they got serious uh, disease, and then they have an accident, and then they can have to go to the hospital and have a shut down the work, and and they have they cannot do uh, look after themselves. So that means the will doesn't move. So how could you manage your life will continue flow? So, so that's what uh, her classical Chinese medicine told you. So if you make sure your energy full all the time, so it's like uh, your tail full of air, <laughs> so full of air, so you can rotate very fast, very easily. So can you imagine if you're riding bicycle? I don't know if you have been riding bicycle because in China we are riding bicycle a lot. Mm -hmm. If you don't pump the air in the in the tail, so that's why, because you know the half, so you have to have to pedal much push, hard push, push. push yeah but if you really make air inside really full so you know you find that you just they're rolling quite smoothly so those air is nothing air you cannot <laughs> there's no no nothing yeah. but, but the air is such important so that's why our body breathes that's why lots of people get stretched, tense. So sometimes we say, breathe. <laughs> so you need to breathe and then in, breathing in, so like you punch the tails. So now you get them in. So that's why lots of people don't really know how to breathe. So that's why they get blood stagnant and then they feel exhausted. And then they, that's, you, you, very common, like when people finish very intensive job, they say, oh, everything finished, they take deep breaths. Well, because they hold so tight. So they have to breathe in out to like stress out. Yeah, it's like being in the wrong gear for too long. Yes, yeah. exactly. So that's why, you know, the tense up. So breathing in, you pump the energy in. So that's why there are so much people start learn yoga and then, you know qigong with the breathing <laughs> technique. It is, you know, it, it costs nothing. You just breathe. So that's why you know, um, lots of people had a cancer, and then they're going to have a chemo and that's a soul suffering. Then you know the Chinese medicine just said, okay, learn to breathe. <laughs> and walk <laughs> so and your cancer is gone <laughs> so that's why it's like uh, how can you know the nature and then to you balance up with nature because you know the cancer cells are really freed of the uh, oxygen so you have a lot of oxygen come in you're fine mm -hmm. but why do people sit in front of computer and hold their breath and then so eventually they're stagnant, just like a river don't flow. So, you know, you create so much rubbish. That's why people have a trouble there. The mouth is smelly and then there's something else. So because they're stagnant. <clears throat> so that's why we will come back to talking about the environment and then your, <clears throat> actually the environment we, um, we need to, uh, to address. We have an internal environment as body and then we have a external environment as like you know the the air and the house and the also the tree and, and the, on the street so that's mm, around you so partly um the ancient understanding is like how can you understand what's your environment affect you so it means if it's cold, you need to put clothes on. I was shocked when we were treating some people and in the winter, the very summer uh, skirt. And then they tell me, so, wow, I have a pain, I have a headache. I said, hey, that's cold. You need to put clothes <laughs> on. I just couldn't come, you know, I just said, wow, uh, people lost the contact. 
above the, their, their sensation and they even lost contact. So if you're cold, you need to put clothes on. They just said, wow, I'm looking so beautiful. <laughs> 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 so, they, so that's why, it, why of course you not get balance from the outside. That's why they harm your 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 internal environment. So that's one of the reason. So how can we go go with the flow? That's why I want to go back. So the um, go with the flow is you go with has an energetic change in the big picture and then your energy and learn how to adapt that so that's why your internal environment to be able to change for example like now where it's in the autumn the autumn character is the leaves drop down and then getting cold so of course now you your whole body just like trees and then gradually shut down and then preparing the winter and then to restore your energy. So that's the time you don't sweat. You're not meant to be sweat so much because when you sweat, you open your windows. So that's why why, why people come say, wow, that's cold, close window, close curtain, because you want to protect your yang qi, your warm qi and leaking to the outside. But this is outside your house. But uh, people normally always uh, give attention to the outside, but rather than your inside. So, for example, we when we were doing this kind of uh, uh, house class, we always mentioned that so you better take a cold shower and then massage your skin. So what that's about is you prepare, you shut down your pulse, means you shut down your door and then your window for preparing the winter come. So you hold your yang qi inside. And then because your whole body, the pose, you know, and summer's open, like the breeze release the, uh, you know, your your liquid to uh, erupt, uh, erupt it, your, your kind of heat. But now in the autumn, you need to close down your window to hold your liquid, hold your, your energy in. So that is a called go with a flow. Mm -hmm. So it's following not just nature, but mm -hmm. as a, a whole of that more universal principles. Yes, exactly. Because you you follow the heart is the, uh, the energetic, you know, rising up goes down. In the ancient um, uh, internal alchemy practice, they have a uh, uh, lot of vivid description. It's about the, uh, and it's quite interesting mathematics talking um, the energy in the winter drop down, very down to the bottom. So that's why the earth frozen, you know, and then keep the water inside warm. And so that's also those energy drop down to um, your bottom of your spine in the terrible. So according to that, so that's why our human being has amazing system, uh, you know, resonant with the outside because we have a 24 uh, seasons, you know, change. And also we have 24 hours. So we have a 24 spine. Um, right. And when you say 24 seasonal changes, mm -hmm. Um, what do you mean exactly by that? Because most people would think there's four seasons. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, that is in the uh, ancient Chinese calendar, in the, in the we call the lunar calendar. Mm -hmm. We still use that. So it's like almost like 15 days as one unit. So that's why each month have a two unit. So to indicate for agriculture, what time you should uh, spread in the seeds, uh, what, what time you should be uh, um, pick up their, their fruit. So the, the, this calendar really indicate the, uh, the earth cycles when you should do what, because the, that's the, the rhythms as constant moving like this. So that's why, um, yeah, so th that's also, it's a profound, uh, record in the Yellow Emperor medical book. So that's, that's a later sense. I'm just want to mention that because to try to illustrate how body design to 
actually really fit in. There's a lot of detail about the uh, Earth's season and the Earth's cycles change. So they have a mathematics um, measurement. and uh, So that's why lots of people think, you know, Chinese medicine is not uh, science. They didn't know. They are really have a quite accurate uh, mathematic distribution. But the most uh, really exciting part is um, they already have a sighting about uh, the figures in the each meridians, each timing, each season. But they treat your whole body as constantly moving system. So that is the, uh, uh, very different from the, uh, we call Western medicine. So therefore the doctor uh, um, is there need to be as a sage to be able to understand and the body constantly move. So the doctor asks uh, the, uh, the person need to be uh, cultivate themselves to be able to still uh -huh. and then to be able to objectively and to feel what's the moving on that pa inside that patient. Mm. So that's the highly skill. Uh -huh. So that's why uh, the, uh, the doctor is not just you go to the school, you learn the knowledge, you will be able to do it. It doesn't work like that because you, when you're faced with the patient, you need to sense the vibration. What's the vibration? And then what's the, the patient, whether it's the liver, because the liver have a liver vibration, and then liver smell. That's a specific smell for liver disordered. And then have a specific the, the smell for uh, a stomach or spleen have a certain kind of a problem. So the doctor understand lots of a subtle change by their own machine. What's their own machine? They don't use a scientific kind of X-ray or, or kind of a EEG, ECG. It's their body. So they train their body in the certain state. So they are kind of either observing and then detected or resonant to, because for example, if they haven't got disease, as soon as they feel the patient, they, they, they see the patient, they start to see, oh, that vibration is, is wrong. Uh -huh. They can exactly pick up something wrong with that patient. So that docent is totally beyond the world. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, and also why they have a difficult to, um, to become a good doctor. But of course, that that's, we're still talking about your, your diagnosis because there's already we call the lower range doctor. <laughs> Even the lower range doctor, you still need to, to pick up the patient's vibration. That's uh, still need a lot of cultivate. You, you cannot just say, oh, a liver disease, you use that. You got to need to know what type of the liver problem and then to be able to adjust it, what kind of a, point what kind of uh, the herbs that that's already the lower range so okay talking about the classical uh, uh, chinese medicine is the doctor have an aiming if you really want a high level doctor i'm sure i'm sure you're practice chinese medicine you want to be the better quality doctor so those are doctor to first you understand how is the season change and how is the um, uh, environment uh, impact on the body and uh, has the the body really function so you need to go through yourself to understand that and then to put uh, all those wisdom and knowledge together to be able to uh, train the people like uh, you're not waiting for people to get sick so that's why um since i was practice chinese medicine and I start realizing there's endless patience. But actually, um, the wisdom and the knowledge really come passing on. Because uh, our human being is amazing, um, you know, the, 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 the body, an amazing being can learn much more than 
ordinary and animals, even animals really amazing can learn. We are much better on the learning. So that's why if we can pass those kind of a knowledge and understanding to train the people and then to make sure to prevent disease. So that's why we really got the essence of the what is a life. Uh, life is you're dealing the energy. And then you understand the, the regulation, no, the, 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 the flow of that energy. So that's why I always um, much more fascinating about the Yi Jing and uh, of course the Book of Change, which is very ancient. The knowledge implying to uh, understand how the cosmos move, how the body move, and, uh, and then in, in everything apply. But put a long story short, that's really described about the energy river has that flow. So that's why if it were so wrong, we were talking about we are like wheels, so we were wrong because we could expose to any kind of a punch. Mm -hmm. So in this case, so we are learning constantly. How can we make our will full? So you need to know the character. And in the different season, you need to exactly in tune that season to make sure your energy not leaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's one of the reasons we uh, have been running about a full season retreat for years is because we really base on that ancient wisdom. And uh, of course, lots of people, since they do that for season retreat, lots of people tell me, they say, hey, it's amazing. Lots of my friends get uh, sick. No, I haven't really get sick. It's because in this kind of energy flow, you each time you pump out the right the energy. So your tail never, never flat. Because if you're rolling, 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 your energy is uh, this is paced yeah. it's very easily but you know it's like you put petrol in so we put the air we put a nourishment but that that's is uh, through the knowledge and the understanding but of course that just is talking about the environment but the chinese medicine really classical chinese medicine uh, most emphasize is about body mind soul so that's why they emphasize that your soul, your spirit, is the is the governor of your whole body. Uh, if the, your soul clear and then can give uh, can really listen to your body, uh -huh. so it's like a, you you are the good kin. <laughs> if you are the good kin, so you have a quite clear. Oh, I'm I'm in charge that uh, country which is your body so at least uh, you understand uh, each organs of what their function you need to respect their own characters you don't exhaust them and uh, missing use them so that's is the that's what's your soul so your soul first need to respect what is the natural design of your body and then also to understand why you're here and how to uh, engage with your body to fulfill what your soul is about. So that's one of the reasons um, in the classical Chinese medicine so always emphasize that you have a three treasure <laughs> in your life. Well, treasure, of course, you see, you <laughs> have important. So it's uh, your jing with your your body uh -huh. and qi is your your heart and your mind uh -huh. and then shen is your spirit and your soul so normally i like to use uh, talking soul because people said wow what's the spirit i always feel the uh, the soul means the spirit in your body you know we have so much spirit around <laughs> and then in that uh, space um but uh, China, uh, classical Chinese medicine and um, inviting all those three together to deal with a life. 
rather than separate said okay you, you're talking about your soul go to the church and then you're talking about your body go to the hospital so that's as a tip, typical separation so why chinese medicine and they haven't died even they have been not really treating very well there's not much money <laughs> being given and uh, but those are doctor i just magically to get people better and then doesn't need to use too much equipment use a huge amount of the money to check and wait it's a present point and then and then actually even just teaching people how to do the exercise how to breathe and then there's a long-term problem result why because they they understand there are sometimes it is a body problem but that body governing by the mind mm. uh -huh. it could be the mind thinking too much or never really take care of body missing used body so that's why in the west maybe called your psychological <laughs> aspect so of course you know the um, um, chinese medicine dealing with the psychological part so that's we call the middle range of the doctor mm. they're not just only treat body not just oh you're sick okay put your bed it's a mm, have you hmm, uh, overuse your body you haven't really go to sleep properly so hmm, if the ego too big you can you think you can order your body in doing anything so sometimes the patient Ooh, he's correct <laughs> <laughs> so that's why the middle part of the doctor actually really knows some people's mental pattern can be we can we could say use that was abuse your body mm -hmm. so that's why so many people get wrong because they don't respect the body is part of the cosmos uh -huh. and right just a small size <laughs> yeah. so and then of course there's the one level but there's a, a soul aspect so that's why people have a, an, a different talent have a different behavior so why because their soul carried the certain kind of uh, either we call it, you know, the purpose or the missions to come to the earth so therefore if they are really carry what they meant to be here to do and then they are really acknowledge this part and and then there's they were much better off mm. but unfortunately lots of people lost that they lost the 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 sense that that's what they're doing or the practitioners have lost the ability to tune into that level of treating both oh. <laughs> Great. both that's why we call the classical chinese medicine classical chinese medicine is like when you see the patient you need to look at their soul so that's why um when we see the patient because the patients oh oh when we see one person only even just not patients and they carried their spirit and then carried their uh, the quality of their spirit um so that's one of the reason i think there's a hell of uh, uh, aspect now we really need to revealing and to understand what is the classical chinese medicine about because they treat people as a whole so we really need to know there's a lot of um, uh, people come to me mention they have uh, so much ache in the pain and then they really feel tired and then and then i look at this at that i look at them they say oh i do exercise every day and now i'm really healthy i'd really be careful eat food and very healthily on all visible levels they look perfectly fine oh they really care mm. uh -huh. they don't eat rubbish food they don't do, do, do. but why there's a still something wrong so um i think that's a part of uh, about how to understand there's a much higher level for the human as being because um, uh, we carry all of this three probably 
um, we can leave the next time to go deeper yeah, I about feel like this, this is almost another podcast <laughs> okay so to bring it back um, I interrupted you you were talking about the 24 levels of the spine maybe we can finish on that ah I see and so because our body is really in a miracle design uh, so because it's an energetic system um, if we look into our uh, spine because it, if it were somewhere in between heaven and earth so our spines support us hmm. so there are the discs in in between each other there's a space and the nerve systems all come to conducting our whole body activities so that's why it's um, as uh, the design for human um, body it was amazing to, uh, if you look at the, the, the numbers, there's a lot of things we can pick up. Like if your ribs is 12 mm. uh, and then your spine is 24. And then so that's why their spine actually, if for example, why that's important, I mentioned that. If, if people hasn't done the um, winter solstice uh, care about their, their energy, there are lots of people appeared have a tailbone pain. Mm. Uh -huh. And then that's why lots of arthritis uh -huh. and, and disease can be happen because the winter, so, uh, winter solstice is the energy drop down mm. to the uh, bottom of the spine and then the height to prepare the rising in the spring. But so that's why this time need to be really deeply relaxed but of course now in, in our society there are lots of celebration lots of wine lots of party lots of late night um, during the winter solstice hmm. so therefore they are affected their energy restore and re-rise for the next term so the um, the if you look at the physical manifestation, the mm. fluid isn't allowed to flow up the spine. Yeah, it's because uh, if you were talking Jing Qi Shen means the, uh, the physical essence, which is in your, um, uh, in your belly, in your kidney. But that's what the Chinese medicine term, the kidney actually not just only physical uh, organs. Mm. It's a token original your essence your kidney so that's why you can see why young people can jump and can push the sense right because they have very strong kidney so that's why in the first day chapter of uh, uh, Euro emperor they said they called original energy called the essence so this part is very very precious because it's like um or put this way that's the essence of the kidney as your life force lasts for your whole whole life if you take care they will last long uh, just just to see it's like if you uh, have uh, the heritage of the money i'll put this way in your bank account either you're planning very carefully use that they will last long but it is that your dream and use that very quick so you that's break yes that's right the same uh, that's why, why if uh, people just uh, end this the uh, moving and doing things and now rest and not to uh, take care so eventually why you can see when people getting older they are spine bending because the energy cannot push them straight uh -huh. so like fountains the energy not uh, rising up properly and then eventually it's like a water tank the water getting lower and lower so they cannot push up and so that's what, why the hair disappeared the, the teeth going down because the energy cannot push to the upper part so they're all falling down so uh, for the winter solstice for mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. re resting or relaxing in that time mm -hmm. allows the energy to flow up from the bottom tailbone part of the spine mm -hmm. correctly uh, their winter solstice is to allow to all of your energy restore to the bottom part because that's associated with the energy on, on the earth and the universe 
because the winter is so cold they drop their energy drop down to the bottom so and and then that's their uh, winter sausage that day is they really drop the deep bottom so like of course if we use a spine as that season so they drop down really on the uh, the terrible that part so uh, so that's why when the energy really can drop down so that's why you need to hibernate just like animal you can see the old hide <laughs> the bear and they eat and then the hide they're not really active so that's why uh, our human being need follow that and then so during that time you need to collecting your energy and then restore so from that day winter solstice and then the body start gradually rising up the energy start rising up uh -huh. so that's 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 why before the winter solstice you really need to start uh, you know going to going quiet and happening and then that's why we when we were doing that, we're doing that for years and the winter solstice, we're always running a retreat. And then people say, wow, that's amazing. We sleep for three days. <laughs> but interesting, if every, no, there's some, many people have kidney problems since they continue doing that. And then the kidney is much better because each year you accumulate more and then you start repair the damage. And so the human body is an amazing system. They always constantly try to balance you up. So if you take care and they will repair yourself, especially when people are young, so that's a chance. But if people already burn their, kin <laughs> their energy, and then of course that they need to take much more care and uh, rest. So that uh, is about how spine, the 24 discs, is a reflect the the season change as like a measurement so that's why we use this the Chinese medicine use that to see which part have a blocked and they even can use as diagnosis thank you so much okay you're welcome thank you